You're listening to The Critical Thought, where we challenge our listeners to use critical thinking when examining the teachings of Jehovah's Witnesses. Hi, this is JT. I was raised as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, went on to get baptized, pioneered, went to Bethel, and even became an elder. So my approach to the Jehovah's Witness is somewhat different than many people, mainly because I had an opportunity to see things and hear things and be involved in things that many other people simply didn't. One of the things that we're looking to do here at The Critical Thought is to help people who have questions be able to ask the right questions. As Jehovah's Witnesses, critical thinking has always been something that's been discouraged. And my mantra is, Yes, there may be questions I can't answer, but there should not be answers I can't question. And that's the approach that people have to make when you're doing critical thinking. You have to be able to ask questions regardless of what the answers are. And that's what we're trying to help people to see. What types of questions do I need to ask if I'm interested or I'm involved with the Jehovah's Witnesses? In fact, we invite people to email us certain questions or issues that they would like to have us examine and see if we can look at them from a critical thinking aspect. Feel free to email us at exjwct at gmail.com. And we look forward to having you in our audience. So let's look at some things from the perspective of the critical thought.